What's up everybody, it's Cashflow Nexus. I'm back with another video for you guys. It's been a while. I'm happy, I'm excited to give you guys content once again. It's about that time to start going hard for you guys once again, so I'm back. So y'all see my face, I'm looking pretty rough. I, <laughs> I haven't got you know a haircut since the coronavirus and all this you know crap has been going on, but I'm still looking good, I'm still looking fly. <laughs> so I'm not too, you know, too down about that. I'm gonna get be getting a haircut soon. Uh, other than that, you guys, I'm going to be doing a video on XRP with Ichiboku analysis, as you know. Uh, I'm going to be dropping two more videos today, uh, so bear with me. And I'm, I'm also working on a series, uh, a wealth series as well. So that's behind, going on behind the scenes. Uh, because a lot of I've asked a question on Twitter, Facebook, what wealth, what I ask people what is wealth to them because God had said, Hey, you know, ask people what they think wealth is because He's been teaching me about wealth and what wealth really is. And the answer was, you know, intriguing to me, so I, I, I found it very interesting what He showed, what God showed me. Um, before I go on, I do want to say that uh, I want to actually give uh, Nola Skin Essentials a shout out because you know they have some pretty good products here um, it's for uh, you know skin care if you guys are interested in skin care I think men should also you know take care of this, their skin too you know look good for their woman look good period that's just me I like looking good I like smelling clean I like smelling fresh and that's a part of wealth as well, which is you know taking care of your your body and your physical health, which goes on into skincare. So that's one thing I wanted to, to say. Um, I'm gonna give a full, full review on the products probably you know after I you know probably after like three weeks to six weeks to really see what's uh, how it does my skin. But so far, you know I like it. Uh, it's been making my skin feel good. It's smoother. I hope y'all guys could see that. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, you guys, you know how I do on this channel. I always start off with scripture before I get into the analysis. So before I get in, I'm going to read you guys Deuteronomy 8, 17, 18, and then we'll jump right into the technical analysis on XRP. All right. So I'm going to read. Then you say in your heart, my power in the might of my hand have gained me this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day so i hear a lot of people in the world that say they're self-made you know i got this on my own i grinded for this yada yada you know you know the the, the way of the world the way the people in the world speak and you know you may have done all that but the truth is God gave you that power to get that wealth. He helped you get that wealth. And the thing is, uh, I want to encourage y'all to read all of Deuteronomy 8, chapter 8 for yourselves. If you are, you know, a, a Bible reader, read all of that for yourself because part of my uh, my wealth series is going to be in Deuteronomy. So I just want y'all to, you know, read that for yourselves. Uh, I wanted to share that scripture and, you know, just to put God first because God always comes first on this channel. So I wanted to say that. Um, and next thing I'm going to do, jump into this technical analysis. So bear with me, guys. and Let's get right into it. All right. So now we're going to take a closer look at XRP. As you guys see here, XRP has been trending up and now we are stagnant. Um, when you look at the Ichimoku system, you guys, you got to look at key things. You got to look at the cloud and what the cloud is saying. I could have analyzed this really fast if I really wanted to and break it down faster, but I want to you know, keep it simple and make it plain for everybody here. So you see right here, this is called Secret Bank A. This is a bullish cloud, and this is Bank B, which is the bottom part of the cloud. So whenever these two go flat, there's no real trend in the market. As you see here, this was a flat market that went stag was stagnant here at this point right here. So right now, we're just moving sideways. We're stuck between this range and this range and right here in the middle. 
But this is where the price is currently ranging in right now. Still technically bullish until we're underneath the cloud or until we get other funds of that. But right now it looks like XRP is has hit a at this cloud level and it's trying to get back up into this range. But now what I'm seeing I'm seeing that right here is our, our level of uh, resistance with the key room, the moving average on the Ichimoku. So there's really no clear direction just yet on what, no clear trend on uh, where the price wants to go. And you see we're in this triangle right here. If I throw off the cloud for you guys for a second, you see that we're in this triangle here. Break to the upside or the downside will be a major move. So that's what I'm watching as at this moment but it's not very clear yet on what it's going to do. So going down to the smaller time frames to get a better read on it, same thing. So this is how you wanna gauge each Moku and understand what's going on in the market as fast as possible. So whenever you see the cloud flat, that's a problem. So this is a bearish cloud, right? So this is when it flips. This is now B, this is a. So B is flat right now, showing that there's no real, you know, move downside. It's just flat mark. So we could be ranging from here to here now. And this is you know, flat as well. So this market's really not moving right now. So there's no momentum in this market. And you see this flat. flat. But those are other signs that the market is not, you know, making any big moves right now. So one thing I do want to just say, I do want to say that this market is going to start moving soon, but how soon exactly? That And then we break it down, we come down to the one hour time frame. This market is still flat. Uh, I see that the span A is flat right here and B is flat and the key dream flat. Another big thing is that they're far apart. So this could start meaning that the market may, you know, start ranging here, this level, and this level. Or what may happen is the this is showing that the market's out of equilibrium and, and price may want to attract back to the price. I mean back to the break above here, we'll start to see this angle to the upside. So to get a clear read on the trend of the market, what I would like to see for any opportunities. I like to see this angle up, this angle up, because once this starts angling, we'll start seeing upward movement like this. Plus, this is a thin part of the cloud, which is showing that this potentially weak uh, resistance right here as well. Once this green line gets through, this is a good sign for market to move higher. So there's no real trend on here on the one hour either. So let's go down to the 30 minute time frame and start looking. For Number. But now, here we have it. Right here, the market's back in equilibrium on the 30 minute time frame. So, this is where I want to start looking for my trade opportunity. See the, the secret span B right here. B is flat. This is slightly angled up, but it's still flat. I want this to angle up and this to angle up as well. And then, if it angles up, I know that this fractal level right here has been broken. Then I can start looking for up, upside. So that's what I'm watching right now in this. So I will take my trade on the 30 minute time frame and see what happens here. Right now, there's no move. Uh, so I'm going to start looking at the ultimate oscillator and the RCI. But RCI first, RCI is saying to us that the main trend, which is our green line here, bullish. This is going up and it's over 80 and it's over the zero level. Our midterm mid trend is to the zero line and in a, well, up, in the, above the zero line, but it's not above, but it's still in a good range. So this is still good for us right now. Signal is going up. So this could mean that the market could be moving higher at this point. Uh, looking at it, I think the market will move higher. Uh, as of now, I'm going to uh, target this level. So we're going to see how this plays out. Right about here, that's our target. And we'll see how it plays out. But that's a good, you know, good game right there, about 36.
it's like not too bad. But you know, you guys, you gotta, you know, watch the market, be patient, and wait for the moves to come. If this starts trending here, it could probably actually go a little bit higher than what this is saying. But to be on the safe side, this is where we have to get by first. We move higher. So this will be a target. But other than that, that's my analysis, my analysis for XRP. If you guys enjoyed this video, comment and subscribe. Leave your thoughts behind and share your thoughts. All right. God bless you guys and peace.